Thank you, commissioners and Madam Chair, for being here today. Um, I'm always amazed by how many issues there are in Southern Nevada every time I come here. I talk about my one issue, but I know that you're doing a lot of work, especially with um, evictions, with housing, and with COVID, there's so much going on. So actually, um, fun fact, um, Oscar Caressia, who just was um, recognized today, he was my violin instructor. So, um, and I was also in the youth camarada as a child, so it's kind of funny. Um, all the trouble that I get into today is largely in part because of him. So it's been a um, pleasure working, um, um, having him take the time with me because I didn't practice much. <laughs> but um, I had a pretty good ear, so that's been, it's worked in my favor. Um, unfortunately, if I were to do what those young people were doing today, if I was doing it on the strip and I was staying stationary, I would probably get a ticket and I'd probably land myself at CCDC if I decided to not leave where I was standing and playing. And that's happened to me several times. I have, unfortunately, I have a criminal record, no, no convictions, but my criminal history goes back, I guess, to, or criminal history goes back to 2011. That was the first time I was cited for obstruction of the sidewalk. And that's continued until 2018 in a situation in which my violin was impounded as evidence in retaliation for um, filming. And I just think that um, this issue that needs to be revisited at some point in time, that there are problems with the county code, chapter 16, with its um, intent. But um, in terms of enforcement by Metro, they have gone to basically zero tolerance. And as a tactic to dissuade people from performing, they've also decided to start impounding their instruments and the tools of their trade to discourage them from performing. Um, I got a minute left. Okay, um, what else do I want to say? In, re in response to the gentleman who made the presentation regarding Clark County Detention Center, I've personally taken two trips there, again, because of my activities as a street performer and musician. Um, he says it's safe, and that may be true from his point of view, but um, if it was safe, Nicholas Ferrer would still be alive today. He would, he would have not died in a restraint chair. Also, the hundreds of protesters who came out last year at, in the uprisings, they would have not had the complaints that they did, which were of um, overcrowdedness, not allowing people to be award, and um, just the lewd comments that were made to people who identified as, as trans and as uh, non-gender conforming. So that being said, also, um, it's cold in here. CCDC, take it down 10 degrees. That's how cold that center is. Thank you.